And what about Demi? Because you, you, you liked working with her, didn't you? I loved it, yes, but she made a lot of objections, and I only heard about them afterwards, because Binky Beaumont, who was presenting it, you know, he said to me, we had quite a bit of opposition, you know, when your casting came up. We said we're casting Kenneth Williams. And she said, Kenneth Williams? What are you casting Kenneth Williams for the wood god? A god? <laughs> Kenneth Williams? And he said, well, now, why don't you like the idea, Dame Edith? She said, well, he's, he's got such a peculiar voice. <laughs> and I thought, what a cheek. What a nerve. Of course, I didn't know. And she invited me, you know, into her dressing room. We were on tour at Brighton, and she said, I can hear you halfway down the corridor talking to everyone in the company. Why don't they visit me? And I said, because they regard you as a great myth of the theatre. You're a big figure and formidable for them. I mean, see, I would have been my dressing room. They just pop in and say, hello, what have you been doing? But they couldn't just pop in with you, they feel. She said, well, I would like them to pop in. I'm very ordinary. I sit at home on a three-legged wooden stool, basting my joint. I, I like to baste my joint, and I make my Yorkshire pudding... And Johnny G comes down, Johnny Gilgood, and says, Oh, dear me, just this delicious pudding. And I thought, oh, dear, oh, dear, it's anything but ordinary. And she said, I'm very ordinary. Uh, Damien, a veg and two and Yorkshire pudding. You can hardly imagine it, can yes, you? Yes, she actually did all yeah. that.